So your parents, were they generally like less conservative than most parents are? For sure. My dad's actually a photographer. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, yeah. And he, so he's already kind of a little bit more like liberal than the typical Japanese parents. Um, and he, you know, his parents were, his dad was a diplomat. So he like lived all over the world. And okay. I think he just like kind of has a different outlook than like your average Asian stereotypical parent. And then my mom is, um, she like kind of works in like PR, mm -hmm. so she's also kind of like a different kind of. So they work parent. in entertainment. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of. Yeah. I never really looked at it like that, but yeah, I guess. Yeah. So um, I, now, are they first generation Japanese or? I always forget if I'm first or second. I'm the first citizen. Okay, so yeah, you're first generation. Right. So first generation yeah. born here. Yeah. Yeah. So they are actually They're from, from Japan. Japan. They're immigrants. Yeah. Okay. When did they move here? My dad moved here when he was 17. Okay. And um, he went to school in the Bronx and met my mom when she was here on like an exchange, student exchange program or something. Okay. Um, so she's been here, a little, but they've both been here like 40 years or something. So you grew up in New York. Mm -hmm. So you've pretty much come back home because you live here now, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm still bi-coastal. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit less lately. I've been mostly in New York for the past like maybe six months, but um, for the past a little bit over a year, I've been like perfectly bi-coastal. So two weeks in LA and two weeks in New York. Do you feel like a serious baller being bi-coastal? Because I, I would be, I would feel like You a know, or is I it always, just a lot of Taiwan complain and it's really annoying? It's, I mean, it's a little bit of both. Like I, I definitely, when I left New York to go to California, it took me a really long time to admit I didn't live in New York because I think when you grow up in New York, you grow up with this mentality like New York's the best place in the world. Nothing well can compare. Mm -hmm. But then like after a while, I was like, fuck that. Mm -hmm. New York is freezing cold. Life is miserable. And I love California. Yeah. So and then I, I was like, I'll only go back to New York if I can like do the bi-coastal thing, mm -hmm. which I'm doing. Um, But it's yeah, like it's at this point, I'm like, OK, it's more a pain in the ass than anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay. So I've only been to New York a couple of times mm -hmm. and right before I came here, I actually had to go run an errand and I got completely fucking lost and I went the totally wrong way. And then like 30, 36th street like disappeared. And I just like, I was so frustrated and like every time I would ask someone for directions, they would look at me like I was retarded <laughs> because you guys like have straight streets and they all go a and they're numbered way and they're numbered so like it shouldn't be easy to get lost in new york but i got lost in new york so and i also want to ask like do you just get used to the honking because it is constant honking yeah does it become like a song it's not even a song it's just it's not even background noise i just don't hear it like even and this is something I noticed when I moved out to LA mm -hmm. is like, there will be like a dog barking for so long and, and people will be like, Oh, that's driving me nuts. And like, I literally don't even notice it yeah. until someone says something. So yeah. I think noise is just something I'm Get used to. Speaking <laughs> of, don't you have candles, stripper candles? Yeah. I stopped making them. <laughs> Where I was, did they actually smell good? They smelled really good. Oh, I wish I, I never gave you any. Damn, no. I should have. You don't so give me anything. It's, well, it started because like, I'm obsessed with candles. Like yeah. I have, one time I went around my house in LA and I counted all the candles on display and I had 86. Oh my God. And that's like not including my backup ones that I had put away. Yeah. So, and then my friend started a candle company um, called The Hundredth Acre. And I was like, oh, show me how to make candles and then I'll never have to buy candles ever again. Yeah. Um. So I learned how, and then like, as I was making them as a hobby, like we were saying, I was like, how can I make money from right. this? Um, so I turned it into like, okay, I'm going to make candles and sell them. And it just like totally got out of hand. And it's right when I got my job in Barstool in New York. So it became this thing where like, I, half the time I was in New York and then the other half of the time I was in LA waking up at 6am making candles until I went to bed at 10pm. And like, that was all I was doing in California. Oh my God. So it, I just like completely burned myself out. And, um, You're and now I never candles. want to look at a candle ever again. So do you not have 86 candles in your New York apartment now? I mean, I have a lot of candles. I'm not going to lie, but I buy them now. <laughs> <laughs> do you have the candles that have the timers on them that like turn on at a certain time, the fake candles? Oh no, 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 no. I'm a total like 
real candle I'm a candle girl. snob. Yeah, mm. like I am anti fake candles. <gasps> I'm like that with flowers. I hate fake flowers. Yeah, they uh, they really disturb me. Yeah, I'm on fake fruit. Yeah, fake that, fruit is what the, the worst. fuck is that? Like yeah. that is just some bullshit. Like either you have produce or you don't. Yeah. Why do you need to have fake produce? It also looks incredibly fake. Yeah, it's clear. It's I mean I've seen some fake flowers that look like maybe yeah. they could be, but like. Yeah, it's it's like a principle thing, right? Yeah, like, I do like my fake candles though that turn on, and I do I do have a lot of real ones too. But yeah, I like because they like turn on all at the same time. Yeah, like, they the they evening, make them like nice. flicker now too. I yeah. know, I know what you're saying. I just I'm I'm like a. I'm not going to compare you. Of the thing. It's the principle of having the real. <laughs> I candles. have integrity only when it comes to candles. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we got it. We got to have integrity about something. Yeah. <laughs>